Hello everybody! Today we are going to see how to use the Game Boy Advance SP battery adapter kit. This one. The kit includes two things. The, the board that will allow us to connect a Lion battery to the Game Boy Advance SP and a plastic 3D plastic to be able to connect the battery in the, in the place. Also, these are the two things that include the kit but we need also a battery. The recommendation is this one, the 603048, 900 mAh. Okay. And why we need this adapter? Because we cannot connect this battery here like this. We need something else. We can, if we want, solder these cables directly to the SP. I think it's not a good idea. Or we can use a board like this one. Okay? This board includes here some... include a circuit that is similar as the circuit include here. But this is uh, ready for soldering two cables, okay? But this one is is is, is ready. Is is for connecting here with these two legs of the SP. So we don't need any cable for this kit. I can show you another battery that is is done here. It's like this. We don't have cables, so we just need to slide in the place and then we can turn on the video game, the SP. Only that, we don't need anything else. So this kit is very easy to solder. We need to remove the circuit that is included already in the battery, in this battery. How we can do it very easy first is just remove the captain tape okay first layer of the captain tape we can see it's another one here and second. Now, next step is removing these cables with the solder iron. We need a normal solder iron, we don't need a, a solder station for this kit. It's just hot here the pad and remove the cable. And the same with the other one. We are removing the cables because I don't want the cables annoying me in this step that is we need to do now. Next step is removing the board. That is the, really the thing that we need to do. Uh, how very easy it also. We can hot on the top of the leg. Maybe we should use a. Um, let's see. I think I, I did last time only with the fingers, but if we have a, a, a tool. No, it's, it's okay. It's, oh, I, I, I didn't record well, sorry. I will try to record the second leg. It's just uh, hot the leg and then with the finger uh, separate the board from the leg. A bit. It 
this one is taking time I don't know if I'm pressing enough or I should have put a bit thin in the tip of the solder iron to help uh, hot the, the metal okay now now we don't need this bar we just need this uh, battery like like is now next step we need to take the board and the board has four parts these two in the same phase as the circuit and this another two please don't do anything with this these two parts we need to do everything on the top side where are these arrows where is right this test where is the the circuit what we need to do is take a lot a lot no a bit uh, thin and put here one a bit there and a bit more here next step is taking the plastic this one these letters are I didn't say before these letters are for if you want to put here a bit a uh, tape double side tape maybe to hold stronger but this doesn't have and you can see doesn't move I think it's not necessary but you have that option so we take the board with the arrows pointing down and the test down we need to put here once uh, we slide the board to that slot it's going to be hold with the plastic because here inside is a, a small legs that match with these small holes so once we connect or we put inside it's a bit difficult to remove but we don't need it's only one time we need to do this looks like like this need to be okay the next step is take a plastic uh, cell the button side is is better of course if it's not assembly because we need to connect to put in this side and solder the battery but if we have these two pads this uh, connector this is going to move the the bar and maybe uh, annoy us to solder both things in the correct uh, with the correct long that we need or the correct separation between both things so I recommend you or disassemble this this plastic shell if you have only one or if you have the old one because maybe you change the, the plastic shell from your SP use the old one it's just put here and take the battery now you can see the, the legs are in this direction but as soon as I put in the hole and I press down this will change the position that is the thing that we want maybe we can help a bit with the nail or I will take a tool I have. maybe this helps don't use nothing metallic like a screwdriver because we are the battery has power has energy inside if you use a tool try to use a plastic or wood or an anything else but no metal also we can help more the metal to go it's like this now is the step or next um, 
the last thing that we need to do is solder but I want to remove the battery only one second to show you how the legs of the battery looks like this is the thing that we need so we can put back this I hope you can see well and we just need, I will try to put this down Okay, with everything in the place, I take the solder iron and hot the metal because this is going to melt the, the previous tin that we put on the board. Maybe again I need to put a bit tin of my tip because this helps uh, to transfer the hot. I will try with the other one. I think it's not yet. I think in the previous step I should have put. No, it's, it's all there. But in my opinion, it's not good enough. I should have put before uh, a bit more tin. I think I put few. Or maybe my solder iron, this is. I think it's 30 watts. So maybe I need to press more. This one I did with the, another solder iron. I will try again, or maybe I can put like this. Now, now. I think you can see the difference. Now this one, yes, it's melting there, and remove, wait a bit, and this is done, it's only this. Okay, here we have our new SP battery, and we just need to slide inside. We can see this doesn't move, fit very well, and of course we can close the plastic lid of our SP as with the normal battery or original battery. We can close, this is uh, the same level as the rest of the plastic, and we can turn on it. We also can my 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 light, the power on light that is green and, and red is changing the color because my power switch inside is very dirty. I need to to clean because if not when you touch this can change the color. But for our video that is uh, the installation of the battery, we can see. If I connect the, in my case, the USB C cable, this charge as the normal battery. It's 
is working also with high PS screens. It supports all levels of brightness. That is all. Thank you for watching. Bye.